Okay. Got it. All right. <clears throat> Read it back to me. Well, I started with a statement about how the effects of long-term investment have no bearing on the intrinsic value of the investments themselves. Then I wrote a cursive A that kind of swoops down into a doodle of a guy with a mustache. Then at the bottom I just made a bunch of hard marks to sharpen the pencil. Alright, first off, didn't you tell me that this was an essay on Hamlet? That may technically be true. Great, and you've spent, what, three hours on it? I mean, if you want to be all negative about it. I just don't get how you can be so nonchalant about this. Yeah, I'll just write it later. Yeah, except later never comes, right? Look, I just don't want you to fail, okay? I know. And I appreciate your concern. I really do, but... I know you've got your own stuff to deal with. You don't need to be wasting time watching me... not work. Yeah, okay. It's just... I worry about you, you know? <laughs> well, if that's the way you feel, we can just hop in bed right now and touch penises. Ooh, I'm Charlie, and I respond to attempted intimacy between friends with gay jokes. Me, he, he. Me, Okay, we're done with that. Right. See you there. That's okay. Had to take a break from all the not essay writing I've been doing, you know? How does not writing merit a break? No, see, it's, it's like a joke, because if I'd actually been doing essay writing, I'd have a real reason to take a break. So why are you taking a break? Because... Come on, you know, it's, it's hard to just make yourself do work. Yeah, I, I guess so. Well, okay, Mr. High and Mighty. What are you doing out here? My dad has cancer. Wow! Would you look at the size of that? What? The hole you just poked in this conversation. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I find illness to be an uncomfortable subject and use jokes as a coping mechanism? <laughs> well, somebody goes to college. Well, obviously. Speaking of college, how about them classes, huh? Pretty crazy, right? It's terminal. Jesus! Would it kill you to look on the bright side? I'm sorry, my, my dad's dying. What exactly would you define as the bright side of that? Well, he's not dead yet. He might be. What? He might be dead. You just told me he was dying, not dead. That's kind of an important detail. Well, I kind of simplified it because you really didn't seem that interested in talking about it. Well. I'm here now, so... And... <laughs> I'm certainly not going to be doing any essay writing anytime soon. Fine. Well, he... got diagnosed not too long ago, and ever since I've been... somewhat avoidant. I, I haven't seen him since I left for college. 
and now the only contact I have with home is is once a week when my mom calls and she tells me how he's doing. Every Sunday. Maybe, uh, maybe she just forgot. You know, mom's always dealing with stuff. You know that's not true. It could be. You're probably just worrying about nothing. I wish that were the case, but considering the situation, there really is Situation? Isn't what situation? There's no situation here. Oh, my mom didn't call, so clearly my dad must be dying. That's not really the proper way stop. to look at it. Just stop, okay? Nothing happened. Nothing is going to happen. You can't just go through life getting sad just because... Because... You just can't go through life that way. You smile, and you laugh, and everything is fine. We can't run away from our problems, Charlie. Give mom a call before it's too late. What if it's already too late? Then she'll need you now more than ever. Jesus, it's about time you got back. Are you ready to start working yet? Hey, Charlie, are you listening to me? Steve, I promise I'll start soon. I got something else I need to do first, okay? Hey, Mom. No, I... Wait. Slow down. It's fine. What happened? Right. How long did they stay? Can I talk to him? Hey, Dad. Thank you.